Some school districts, by the way, closed today. Those are scrolling at the bottom of your screen. Many, though, are still open. But what about school pickup and class tomorrow? Chris Sadig is here, and Chris, the timing of the storm is making it hard for districts to really just make the call and a decision on all of this. Yeah, when the storm hit, really made it a tricky call. Some decided to close today. Others decided to stay open. We wanted to get a better idea of what exactly guided those decisions. We will say it is a really good idea to make sure that you are paying attention to your district's social media page. In fact, look at this tweet from Cedar Hill at 7 this morning. They said that they were monitoring the weather and urged parents to make sure their contact info with the district was updated so that they would get the notifications when they happen. Now, we spent a lot of time this morning showing you crashes. You heard Tiffany. You heard Alex. The slick road conditions. So then why risk sending kids to and from school? We spoke to Dallas ISD and they told us they decided to hold a school day based on the info they had after meetings yesterday and again this morning, adding that they are meeting two times today to determine the logistics of not only the rest of this day, but tomorrow. DISD, though, will not release early today. We did confirm that. Over on the west side of the Metroplex, Eagle Mountain Saginaw told us they made the decision to hold school at 6 a.m. this morning. The message to parents said that district leaders drove the roads throughout that district and determined them safe for travel. That was at 6 a.m. They encouraged drivers to avoid highways and expect delays in the bus pickup and drop off times. Already we're seeing some of those districts that are holding class that they're trying to Go ahead and cancel any after school events and activities like this one. Garland ISD, they said that they're going to go ahead and cancel those activities, but they also have already said within the last hour, Garland, they are going to cancel school tomorrow as well. That just came in. As far as getting kids home, the bus situation we know can be difficult. There's already districts dealing with driver shortages. Add the slick roads on top of that. Plano ISD is telling families to check the district site for news of bus delays. We checked, and at last update, I saw that buses were running around 20 to 30 minutes late. Like the districts, we will keep monitoring this weather, any announcement they might make about getting kids to and from schools safely today. So stay tuned to WFAA and WFAA.com. Tashara.